Hi guys, my name is Harry. Continue with the series Share all the projects I've done so far. Today in this video, I want to share with you a professional bookstore website where you can find, sell and buy books online. Let's take a look at our website. This is the homepage. All the books are divided into categories. We also have the bestseller books in a week or a month. For example, if I click on a book, I can view the book in detail, add the book to the cart, like and share it to my Facebook account. The backend of the website is made by PHP with the Laravel framework. So each time we click to buy a product, we need to reload our website to update the cart. This website only supports the payment method cash on delivery. COD, not credit card, so feel free to update this project. The so next question is how we manage the website. I'll log in with the administrator account. The password always is 123456. This is our dashboard. We can update, add new, and delete all information displaying on the client side, from books, category, to author, and so on. This page is made by AngularJS, so we no need to reload the web page to get more information. That's it, a simple website for selling books online. Let's move on to the next part, set up and run this project. After you have the source code of this project, the first thing you need to do is copying it to the XAM directory. We will set up a virtual host to run this project. By default, the XAM directory is located in the C drive. We paste our project in the htdocs folder where Zarm can detect and run our project. Next, open this project with your favorite editor. For me, I use Visual Studio Code. Select file, open folder, choose the project in the htdocs directory. This is the structure of our project. I also write a readme file showing step by step to set up and run this project for you. So the next step is setting up our environment variables. To do that, open the .env file. The app URL is our app URL. It is a virtual host, so feel free to pick a name you like. Next, set a name for your database. By default, we will use the root account with our password to log in to PHP Madmin. If you use a password, you need to set up this session. We've done with the .env file. We also need to set up the client side where we use AngularJS. In the README file, I also show you how to find and sell an AngularJS library. Open the library directory, then the app.js. We need to update the domain variable. This domain is our server domain where we write the PHP code. Copy the app URL variable and update this variable. Remember we have a slash at the end. Press Ctrl S to save changes. Because we use the Laravel framework, so the next step is to install all the Laravel dependencies. 
At this step, you need to install Composer first. So ensure that you install Composer. We use this command, Composer install and press enter. This process will take a while. So we move on to the next step, set up a virtual host for our project. First, we need to modify the host file in Windows. You can find the link to this file by Google with this keyword. Press Ctrl E shortcut to open Window Explorer. Paste the command we copied before into this bar and press Enter. We need to open the host file with the administrator right. So open Notepad and choose to run as administrator to file, then open the host file. In case you don't see the host file, choose this option to show all files in a folder. Scroll to the end and add a new line. We start with an IP 127.0.0.1, then a name for our project. This is also our project URL. Next, we need to set up Sam to run our new virtual host. Go back to Sam directory. Open RPG folder. Select config. Then assure. Open the virtual host configuration file. Copy this plot code and paste to the end. Remove the hashtag. A line start with hashtag will be understood as a command. We update the app URL for self name. Then update the document root where Sam can find our project. The last step is to import our database, open PHP admin, select new to create a new database. The database name is your database variable. We will import some data for this database. 